Hi everybody, it's Corbin Ann, and this is another... Ooh, yaoi review. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about volume two of Prince Charming. I'll read the back as normal, and then we'll get into what it's really about. So let's go. The debauchery continues for Ashino Sensei as... Despite allowing Yusa to move in with him, he begins to consider the idea of merging his newfound sexual appetite with his former wanton ways. Like the saying goes, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And it could mean heartbreak for Yusa. Meanwhile, Naji confesses he has true feelings for Yusa more confessed than ever, um, and leaves Yusa more confused than ever. Can he deal with the fact that the object of his affection wants to try a three-way? Or is a new love waiting for him just around the corner? Twists and turns come unexpectedly as Akini Kotoki explores the complicated nature of love, sex, and desire. All bets are off on, on all bets are off on who ends up on with who as the story unfolds, leading to the next volume of satisfying conclusions. Um, I didn't mention this, but this is by Akini Takado Takado. Anyway, so again, this one is rated 18 plus. It's, I mean, I can see why it's rated 18 plus, but for me, I wouldn't think it's a big deal that 16 plus reads it because you see worse in PG 13 movies. So, yeah. Um, this one has a lot of sex in it. It really does. But it's that, but it's that very sort of fluffed over sex. So you don't get to really see many body parts or anything. It's all implied. Um, I wrote down that it's definitely 18 plus after I freshly read it. In retrospect, I'm looking at it and I'm kind of going, I can't quite see why I thought that except for it is a very mature content and it does kind of delve into the darker, seedier things. Um, there is an awkward three-way romance between the one of the main friends in the story and a, a Shahina sensei and then Yusa. Um, it's cute in an, an awkward way and then another friend falls in love with Yusi, uh, Yusa and it, it just gets really muddled but I mean it's like the manga version of a telenovela that there's going to be drama in it and it is a very good um, there are quite a few accidents hap that happen. At the start of this one, the professor nearly gets date raped, or the teacher nearly gets date raped, and then later on, somebody gets in a motorcycle accident, and it, it's, it's, this one very much so is grab you by the heartstrings and pull you along, and it is very good. It is very spicy and hot along with it. Now, I paid four dollars for it, which I think is a fine price. I wouldn't necessarily pay full twelve bucks. I am gonna give this one a four out of five. I just wish there was more story and less smut. But as far as I mean, and it's not like there's mountains of smut. I can't say that it's page cover to cover smut. It's just you lose a lot of the story. Art-wise, it's not necessarily my favorite, but this is very it is it is very enthralling and it does keep you interested. So, as far as getting it in your collection, if you have the first one, which was really, really good, get the second one because it, it's still good, but you need the first one to make this one work. Um, it's not a good standalone at all. So yeah, I mean, get it if you have the first one, otherwise I recommend getting the first one first, then getting this one. Alright you guys, I'll talk to you right ma later, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and kisses! Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... SUBSCRIBE!